Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. This time we are playing a deck that was requested by a friend of mine. A Jinx deck that focuses on activating the Mega Death Rocket as much as possible. A bit of an unlucky start, but we can make it do. So Jinx is a 4 mana cost unit with quick attack. So while attacking, she strikes before the blocker. If we kill him, she does not take damage. To evolve, she need to see the hand is empty. Really unlucky. But no problem. So once our hand is empty, we start by drawing one. So very very bad if you have playing against Timo or or Caitlyn and each round the first time he, she level up or you empty your hand create super mega death rocket in hand it costs one mana so always keep in mind to have one mana at least and deal three to the enemy nexus and one to all enemies Okay. Mm -hmm. I will leave it. Depend on what he will play now. Not worth it. Okay, so in order to empty the hand as soon as possible, there are two ways I can think of. First one is having all my cards being very cheap or using the discard ability. Okay, I will take the full damage. So this card means I will throw the card away from my hand and it will not activate any last breath effect or any usual effects except of for example flame chompers which when discarded will get summoned directly. Okay. With Jinx if you have already Jinx on the field, you get Jinx get excited, which to play we need to discard one card, deal three to anything, and create a Jinx in your deck. Okay. So let's summon Jinx again. We also have Augmented Experimenter, which to play, discard your head. Oh. Discard your hand, so Jinx would evolve if she was here. Then draw three, deal three to an enemy. We have also Boom Baboon, which allow us when summoned to create Flame Chamber in hand so that we can discard it later on. Of course, we always have Mystic Shot counter any uh, low HP units. Okay. Hmm. 
may seem bad, but the moment Jinx evolve, we get back on track. Okay, now this is hard. I think I am going to use augmented experiment, kill Lucian, empty my hand and get three new cards. So this will go from rampage and the other spells like blowback which deal one to an enemy and the enemy nexus uh, discard up to two cards to increase the damage by one for each discarded card so we can deal three to an enemy or the enemy nexus Okay, let's attack. He need to sacrifice one of his cards or else he will take 8 damage. But even then, I still have epic scrap traption. Scrap traption, yes. To play, it will spend all my mana and summon a runaway scrap trap that has the brush effect can only be blocked by enemy with three or more health and it have the stat of how much mana we spent so we can have a 10 by 10 for free well not free but you get what i mean okay i am going to summon it right now in order to defend with it What I need is to kill blocking Batch Bear, or else he is the only one that can defend against my runaway Scrap Trap. Okay, I will take the 3 damage. Hello. Okay, another 3 damage. Well, that's it. As you can see, with this deck we can summon way too many cards for the enemy to be able to do anything. Even if we don't have Jinx, we still have a lot of annoying cards. This will be round 1, see you in round 2. Hey guys, welcome back to round 2 of the ultimate Jinx deck. Okay, let's see. I want to have a win with the Mega Death Rocket at least playing a major role in this game. So I am going to start with Zonite Urshin and discard Flame Chomper. Okay, I made a mistake that, but I was lucky with it. I should have used Feral Presence to predict. So pick a card from among three in your deck, then shuffle the deck and put the card on top. And then use Zonite Urshin to at least uh, get a card that I want. I am going to do it either way so that next round I have 
What I need. So, this is my one equipment in this deck. It's called Catalyst. Your spell and skill deal one extra damage. So, for example, Time Winder now will deal one to the enemy or the enemy nexus. But if I have Catalyst version one, it will deal two, and it allow me to kill Samira. And now I can deal two to the his two unit for the price of one card. And he has one mana, so there are very few cards that can save him right now. And that will count also for Mega Death Rocket. So, Mega Death Rocket now deal 4 damage to the Nexus. Uh, Jinx get excited now can drink, uh, deal 4 to anything, then create a Jinx in hand. And etc, etc. So, I have 5 mana, I will need to discard the Jinx for her to evolve. Then you use Mega Death Rocket. One second, perfect. I will use Rampage, discard my cards, evolve Jinx. She can survive the damage. I lost one of my Jinx cards for this, but unlucky. I was gonna say, unless he have one, uh, one other spell to that matter, but here comes the rocket. I have three Catalyst version one. Each one will stack up. So if I have the three, that would have been seven damage. Now I will use Time Trick to predict, then draw. I get Rampage. Allow me to discard up to two cards, then draw one for each. Since I am uh, discarding Flame Chomper. They are summoned directly. Zonight Urshin to discard then draw and no luck. No need to make a name for myself, just an impression. It doesn't matter. Let's attack. He will not use a champion to defend against a unit. Unless it's necessary. No problem. I will use one of my flame champers as sacrifice. Then you sump dredger, discard another flame champer. And I can attack. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I am going to use two flame chompers to defend so that I can attack for eight damage. That leave him with four health. Now, I am not going to attack. I will let it pass. Then I will use a blowback to deal four to a unit. Uh, lucky. So I can deal two to a to an enemy and the enemy nexus and plus uh, one for each card I discard up to two so that is four health and away hope you like the video if you do please share subscribe hit the notification button and put in the comment what other champions deck or ideas you'd like to see next thank you for the recommendation bye